Coastlines are highly dynamic systems that naturally move, migrate, and erode. Managing erosion to protect people and properties is a difficult challenge, especially because we need erosion to maintain the coastal systems and habitats that we love. The Ecology Action Center's Living Shoreline Program aims to help coastal landowners make wise decisions on how to best manage erosion occurring on their shoreline. This instructional video demonstrates how to weave an alder mat to protect an eroding bank from wave and wind energy. This is an ideal size, so some of these ones are a bit big, but we can break them down into smaller units, right, by chopping uh, the branches off. Oh. The reason we want alder or young um, uh, hardwoods is because they're so bendy. They take a long time to get to that break point. The ideal is to make a square so that it's easy for us to handle. And in the end, we're going to end up with these mats that we can then uh, use some of the wood itself to stick it into the slope. What it does is it creates a bit of like a speed bump action on the slope. So the water kind of comes into these mats and diverts itself and becomes a bit more gentle. The wind as well blows up against it and provides a bit of protection for the soil behind. And when there's erosion, they actually catch the soil as the soil's running over them. So they become these structural components within the soil horizon. And over time, they usually sprout and start to grow. Um, and then you have this density of plant material sprouting up and growing through it. So I try to start with the bigger ones on the bottom and just kind of make, you know, three or four. Weaving is under and over and under and over. So the first one is always a bit wiggly, right? And the more you add to it, the tighter it gets. So then now we're going to go over and under, over and under, like so, and just kind of evenly space them out. The next piece then, you go under and over, so you're just um, repeating the pattern. And usually by the time you get the fourth piece in, it kind of starts to hold itself together. So now there's a basic frame of four going each direction, right? So now these littler ones, um, I like to go crisscross. So you just kind of bend all your little branches together, and you can weave them in and out a bit diagonally and then these little guys that came with the stem you can push them back in through any of the gaps and weave them around and you try to make it as tight as we can and you can come from different directions now you want to make it very dense that you can't see through it so that's why we need a lot of materials, um, but you just keep adding to it. That's where we generally use these, is in the transition between shallow slope and a steep slope, somewhere in that transition space we can lock these into the soil by using some pegging of the, of the limbs of willow or alder and then those start to grow and then this mat collects the debris and the sediment as it's sloughing off the top of the edge um, and creates a habitat potential for life there. It allows for the potential of growth to happen. So the little seeds that are already locked in the soil horizon, once they have a little bit of shelter and even just a few twigs provide this shelter, then they can germinate and start to grow. 
So we're trying to generate a new set of growth on that um, cliff edge. 